In this video, you're going to learn essential facts about a cream called 5 fluorouracil 5-FU, which you may have heard being referred to by its brand name, FUDIX. Now I'm going to take you through what the cream's used for, how you use it, what side effects you should expect, how long to use it for, and when you might expect to see the cream working. Before we start the video, I also have a quick request, and that's if you could share your experience of using FUDIX in the comments section. This could be really helpful for those who are going to start using the cream. So what is Effudix cream? So as I've already mentioned, it contains a chemical called 5-fluorouracil. This chemical can help treat some early forms of skin cancer, as well as pre-malignant, meaning pre-cancerous skin conditions, such as astinic or solar keratoses, Bones disease, or superficial basal cell carcinoma. And I'm going to show you a selection of photographs of these skin lesions on screen now, some of which you may recognize. So now you know what Effudix is, well, when should you apply the cream? So you can apply the cream either once in the morning and evening or once in the evening after washing the area of skin that's going to be treated. Now you'll be told in clinic how often you need to apply the cream based on your condition. So where should you apply the cream? Well, the cream can be applied either to the individual skin lesion or to the surrounding area as well. If you're applying the cream to the surrounding area, skin that is not yet visibly damaged will also be treated, and this is called field treatment. Different regions of the face can be treated at the same time, for example, the forehead and the temples. However, if the sun damage is widespread, you might find it easier to treat different sections in different stages, so one after the other. Your doctor will obviously advise you on this. The larger the area that's going to be treated, the more dramatic the redness and inflammation will be, and we'll discuss this particular point in more detail a little bit later on in the video when I discuss side effects and what you should expect to see. So how much cream should you use? Well, try apply the cream with a clean fingertip. If you're treating your whole face, use four pea-sized amounts of cream, one on the chin, each cheek, and the forehead. For more selected areas, so for example, if you've got a solar keratosis on the forearm, just use one pea-sized amount of cream on that particular area. So after using the Effudix cream, make sure that you wash your hands and you can apply moisturizer over the area that you've treated after about 20 minutes if you want to. You should also try to avoid products which may sting or irritate your skin. If your skin becomes too irritated with treatment, try to use a soap-free product to wash and your pharmacist can give you more advice on what to use. In terms of using makeup, well, you can apply a small amount of makeup about 20 minutes after applying the Effudix, as long as the skin is not broken or irritated. But if you start to find that the makeup is irritating the skin, then my advice would be to stop applying it. Now, moving on, what are the side effects of Epidix cream? Well, this is really important, and the main side effect is skin irritation, which medically is called dermatitis. Now, this is because Epidix cream works by directly destroying the sun-damaged skin cells. It's going to cause intense inflammation, crusting, redness, and oozing of the whole area treated. Now, I really want to stress this point, and the effects can be quite shocking to some people, and they often aren't counseled on how inflamed and irritated the treated area can become during the treatment process. However, in general, inflammation is a good sign, as it shows that the cream is having an effect. Now, if the inflammation is too uncomfortable, a steroid cream can be prescribed to calm down the inflammation, and sometimes treatment might be reduced. For example, to use it on alternate days instead of every day. Now, this is usually done if the reaction is severe, but a full course of treatment is usually required, and a dermatology doctor can advise you more on this. Generally, the more intense the inflammation, the better the end result. For more information and to see some pictures of the expected reaction that you might see, please check out skincancer.net, which is a website which chronicles the journey of an Epidix user, and I've included a link to this in the description box of this video. Now, just to give you an example, I've included some example photos here demonstrating one user's journey with Epidix, and you can see that at the start, the skin looks quite normal, but by days 15 to 20, the skin is becoming very red, irritated, and peeling, and this persists through the next few days. However, by the end, so around week six, the result is much better. So how long should you continue with the treatment? So normally after two to four weeks, your skin is going to be red, crusty, and uncomfortable. This is normal, and it's what is expected to happen. So please don't be alarmed if you find this happens. 
In some cases, such as for lesions on the backs of the hands, the body, or for basal cell carcinoma, it may take longer to get to this stage, so around four to six weeks instead of two to four. Once you reach this point, the cream can usually be stopped to allow healing. Now, treatment duration will vary from person to person, and your doctor will tell you how long you need to use the Effudix cream for. If needed, you can repeat treatment after a couple of months for any remaining areas of sun damage. So when should you start to see an effect? Well, again, results are going to vary between individuals, but I'm going to give you a general guide to the treatment timeframe. So to start off with, between weeks one to three after starting the cream, you might notice inflammation with crusting and redness of the skin. Between three and six weeks, the skin inflammation should then settle down. Between 6 to 16 weeks, the dead skin will start to clear up and be replaced, but again, this time frame is going to vary depending on individuals. It could take shorter or it could take longer. It's usually not necessary for follow-up appointments to be arranged. However, if you've got any concerns about the treatment, please contact the dermatologist or doctor who prescribed the cream. And remember, it's really important to continue taking precautions against sun damage at all times, even when you're using the cream. So try to avoid the sun at peak hours. Please use high SPF sunscreen, so ideally 40 plus, and reapply this regularly and wear hats when outside as well as long sleeve clothes to cover up. Effudix cream can make you more sensitive to sunlight, particularly during the warmer months, and the reaction may also be more severe if you've got excess sun exposure during your treatment. I've included some really useful links in the description box of this video from trusted sources with validated information, such as the NHS website and the British Association of Dermatologists. So please check these out if you've got time or you're interested in learning more because they contain lots more useful information. If you did enjoy the video, please remember to leave it a thumbs up. Please leave a comment in the comment section if you want to share your own experiences of using Effudix. I think this would be really, really helpful for other viewers. And please, if you haven't done so already, consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching, and until next time, bye.